Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is. Yeah, KGR, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today, what we have here, 2014 Dodge Charger. We're gonna be replacing this guy. Oil pressure switch is a six cylinder, 3.6 liter. But the problem with this car, where this guy is located, is kind of nasty. It's a little scary too. <laughs> But anyway, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Uh, it takes one to no one, it takes you to tango. We cannot be fruitful by ourselves. We all need each other to survive. I'm gonna bring you guys along and show you what I've done so far and what we have to do to change this guy. I must warn you, if you don't like getting your hand dirty, you don't wanna do this job. See my hand, is already dirty. But anyway, let's go. You know my slogan, we're getting it right. So right there, that's the intake on this vehicle. So this intake has to come out. But well, we don't stop there yet now. This is where we're going. Let me move the camera around. This guy right here. This is where we're going. So this is where I am so far. Disconnected the spark plug wire. Yeah, I disconnect this foil injector. So I'm gonna show you a little trick what I did to disconnect this foil injector so it, it works all the time it's gonna work for you so there's a little red tab here are you following me so this guy is really working good you put this guy right here you use it to lift up this tab once you lift it up if you try to squeeze it sometimes your hand might be hurting you and all of that to get this guy off if you can get your hand there, it's good to squeeze it up. But if you can't get your hand there, you put this guy underneath here. Then you use this guy to lift up, lift it up, then it will come up. But if your hand can go in, once you press it, this thing is supposed to release. But if it doesn't, you just put this guy. You see, boom. Bada boom, bada boom. So all the foil injector is being disconnected. And there's a, there's like a little plastic here that is laying right there on the on the on the on the valve cover gasket a uh, valve cover you just use this it's like a little screw but it's not screw see lift it up come right here lift up the other one there we go now you can set this guy aside So now we're gonna take off this guy. Cause we're coming here. So there are a couple of screws here. Just make sure before you do this, you know, I use my, I use this guy to kind of blow everything off, you know, but there's still a little thing over there. So we're gonna lose this guy. Take off this cause the pressure switch is right in here. So we're gonna lose all this bolt right there. And then uh, we should be able to lift up the second intake not you might call it you know so uh i don't know you have to lose this guy uh, i'm not sure so there's a uh, gotta disconnect this guy now there's a uh, let's see if i can disconnect this oh somebody called me yeah kgr bring you guys back yeah so that's the oil pressure switch right there so you guys can see i'm going to clean this guy off there now then we're going to pull up that red tab and take off that so what i did was if you look down here you see the four area is still there so i did i didn't disconnect that you see that over there that green thing over there i didn't disconnect it so i just decided to lift it up i believe i can go underneath like that and you know sometimes you have to minimize problem you don't want to uh, try to you know be a superhero then you end up breaking something then then the other thing will become a whole gigantic fiasco all kind of mess so i'm gonna go in there now pull up that red tab and uh, i'll bring you guys back okay G, we are doing all right point of correction sorry that i mentioned the red tab while ago the red tab is not actually the oil switch 
uh, pressure, uh, uh, the connector, this red tab, this one right here, is going on the actual, uh, the coolant. That's where it's going, this one right here. So the oil switch is right beneath it. You see right there? I don't know if you can see it now. Let me get the light. Make sure we get this video. Sorry. So the oil switch is actually right there. See? That's a connector right there. A black connector right there. So it's beneath it. So we have to find a way now to get a flat. I don't know if I have to lose this guy off us. I don't even know how I'm going to get in there. But we have to find a way to get in there. So that's it. I just wanted to correct that. So I'll bring you guys back. So this is the old one. I was having a problem, you know, getting my tooth over it. I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, I was having a problem. When I put this tooth, like the thing was like jamming on the thing. So I was, it was very, I was having a problem. So since I'm changing it, so what I did was, I have to break the connector to be able to, you know, get it out. But you're not going back in. You're not going to do the same thing that you just did, right? So that's the old one there. And this is the new one. That's what it's like. And it's three pin. So I'm just going to clean there a little bit now before I install this. Just trying to show you guys. It's difficult because sometimes we try to put this 27, you see. You have to get the right fitting. And when you put this one, it goes in, this 27, but you have a problem there because sometimes this thing is jamming on the wall there. See? Anyway, that's where I'm at. I'll bring you guys back. Uh, this was a part number, I believe I showed it earlier on. Let me clean it up there and then I'll go ahead and install. So, like I was saying before, you know, I broke the one in there to get it out. So I was able to get the right tools for it. See this? This Astro H8. That was what I used. The thing fit in very well, perfectly. I'll show you what I mean. Let me bring the camera. Because the goal is, is to make sure that socket go over that switch. And you don't want to break that switch when you tighten it. Because you can tie it, but you end up breaking the switch. So let me show you. I'll make sure you guys see it. All right, let me bring the camera. Let me adjust the camera. Oh my God. I want the camera to drop back. That's the wrong one. Okay, see it right there? You see this? It went through it perfectly because if the tooth does not go through it perfectly or if the tooth is kind of bent you can break that you break this i'm not i'm just using this as an example you break that switch and once you break that connector the whole thing is just a mess see it went through it beautifully well and you want to make sure let me get it out yeah, it's kind of very funky thing okay Sorry about that, the camera was kind of jumping up and down. Okay, so you see, this one go through it, H8, and you want to make sure this connector is facing up so that when you want to connect it, you can connect it good. I'm just going to use uh, some brake fluid just to clean up there. I will connect it and uh, we'll start to do the real so Once thing. you uh, clean it up already, you just connect this guy. That's the oil switch. And then this guy right there. Oh. I think I'm being kind of a little funny. Let me put my camera down so I can get it done. So the switch is in now, I just press it down. Wait for that snap, you hear it? Then we'll connect this guy back. I was thinking this one was the oil switch. <laughs> Okay, that one has a lock. Once it goes in, you press this lock. So it won't come up. All right, so the, see, I clean up it up. Just gonna put this guy back. I will start to match everything up. Okay. All right, the day is fast spent. 
So we wanted to get to, we we're able to get through there. Just make sure you're looking through here because all those uh, little things, you don't want anything to drop here, see? Something drop here now. So I have to blow this guy out now. Just a little thing there dropping here. Just selling there too. Just make sure. Just be careful, you know. Make sure you check it out before you put it back in. Oh my little thing, uh, if I peel off of my glove, it's something fell inside. So the last thing you want to do is put in the jar. And the whole thing is uh, good, good. That's very good. See? This little thing works very well. If not, I wouldn't be able to get it. Can you imagine? Look at, Look at this guy right here. He was inside. You don't want it to be there. So now, I'm going to take off this guy because I have to hook it up. So you know when you're walking by yourself, you want to try to eliminate problem, and you want to do the best thing that you can able to do to it. So I didn't disconnect that like I was showing earlier on. So we're just gonna put this guy around the top of it. Make sure that this little tiny boat, everything goes, goes in pretty well. So I don't have a spec truck for this, but uh, I can always say, when you do a job for a long time with your own hand, you can tell if it is tight or not. So I'm good at that. I don't want to write him in the KG. What happened? Where's your spec dog? <laughs> Well, KG don't have one. If you want to, if you want to support KG with that, why not? I will take you the digital one. There you go. Make sure you just thread it with your hand first. Everything goes in. But you use a, use that guy to kind of run it. So that one will help us really well. So we can. Uh, so we're gonna go vertical. Like I like this. We are eight bolts here. Oh, you know this thing is a plastic. I didn't even know that. I have that H H8. You know? That socket is from uh, my I use it for I call it. The socket was among the tools that I use for oxygen sensor. That's what I use for my oxygen sensor. That was where the socket was. Right. It kind of delay me a little bit because I have to go in auto zone. So make sure that I got that tools, but I didn't know that I myself have the tools. I didn't 
kind of come like this see that it comes like this just push it in that's why i was trying to balance myself you hear that snap once you hear that snap you know the boy is in you can't miss it listen for that ding dong ding dong ding dong you hear it once you hear that snap then you push the red tab down you are right there welcome to new york you just arrived the big apple. <laughs> All right, let me get my lights because I want to make sure that you can see what we're doing. Because the last thing you want to do, after you get down this far, become a mixed up, fumble the ball. You want to fumble the ball, man. You don't want to fumble the ball. Here we go, push it down. Then we can connect this guy, this bad boy right now. You hear that? Here we go. All right, beautiful KG. So we'll go to the other side too. It's the same thing, so I'll still show it. Still the same thing we're doing over here. Just going first, like that. Go down there. in the vicinity.
out. So this thing doesn't really matter how it goes. Long as uh, the citrate has just mounted. I don't think it matters the way it goes. That's the citrate. I don't have side the uh, the same the same thing, the same place, the same the uh, the same angle. So you don't have to worry about that. Okay, so now see they're all sitting right. Beautiful. So now we're just gonna bring the intake, put the intake, you know. And one more thing, I always forget this, right? So just make sure that when you put the intake, right? See this bad boy here? Several times I forget that shit. <laughs> always remember that. <laughs> you know? So now, bring the intake. Don't bring the intake now, bad boy. That's where we were supposed to be going. Okay, so that's the way. But you want to make sure you see this guy. The trick of putting this guy in. See, you got these two slots here. So make sure that two slot goes in here before you rest it down. If not, it won't go all the way in. Go through that slot first. There we go. So once you go through that slot, you can be able to bring it down now. Make sure that nothing is holding it to the way then. Like my house or pulls or kind of little stuff. See, just like this guy. And then hold this from the tree now. Nothing else to be drawn with it. Beautiful. So it's the same uh, seven or uh, eight that I was using to tie uh, the uh, thing. So it's the same thing. We're just gonna go ahead now. Let me get it. Try this first. Try to treat your head. I was so happy when I found that socket. Oh my god. That was going crazy. Like KG. I can't always say. Spend your money. Let tools become your best friend, brother. Because KG have to lay down here because there are some boat here. You guys will see it. Okay, so you guys saw what I'm doing. So let me move the camera aside and uh, let me tie this down and uh, bring it down. So on this intake here, right? See this knot right there. There's one here. See that? And when you come over this side, right? There is two right here. There's one right here. There's one here and here. But here is the kicker. There is another one right there. See right in there. Is a right there that's the right there that's a 13 so you must take off that if not you won't be able to take off the intake you got it so we're just gonna reconnect all this now 
Everything looks good there. We connect this hose. So we just fire up the car so the car is running right now so i just wanted to show this uh i just wanted to show this tools that i used today for the oil pressure sweep the one i was telling you about the h8 it came from this guy right here so and this guy this is what i use for you know oxygen sensor they are oxygen sensor tools but i just happen to have this guy in here just lucky to have that you know because sometimes when you're working, like you know what to do, you know what to do, but you don't have the right tools to do what you need to do. So that can be, you know, kind of frustrating sometimes. So the car is idling right now, as you guys can see right there, idling. So I'm gonna let you run, so I can make sure there is no leak. And uh, I'll pretty much be, please support your boy, subscribe to my YouTube channel. We put video there every week. Support your boy in any way you can. Let's spread love in Brooklyn way. I love that too. Shout out to Brooklyn. So I'll see you on my next episode. KG, love you. Peace. I am gone.